you're an artist and you also happen to like boats and harbours, then you can find no better spot in the whole country than the waters of the southwest. Our coves and harbours have been captured on canvas by innumerable artists over the years. Well, one of the more recent arrivals is David Newton, and Gillian Miles went to speak to him at his studio in St Kevin's. Many painters have found the lure of Cornwall irresistible to their work, and marine artist David Newton is no exception. He settled in St. Kevin seven years ago to try his luck as a freelance painter after a tough grounding in commercial art. A native of Essex, his early life was spent building and sailing small boats. His interest in their structure led him on to the building and eventually driving of racing cars. After working with Sterling Moss, he was commissioned to illustrate a catalogue of vintage cars at Lord Montague's Motor Museum at Bewley. His precise and detailed knowledge of their workings won him the admiration of enthusiasts and led on to one of his major successes as a marine artist, the naval rescue performed during the Fastnet disaster in 1979. Then came further commissions from the Royal Navy of some of their bigger warships. First of all, I, I spent, obviously in my early years, I, I used my abilities in the commercial art world and I did some work through Macmillan, the publishers. And eventually I worked for the Maritime Trust and did uh, two or three commissions for them. HMS Belfast is one, and the book for the SS Great Britain. And um, let's yeah. take HMS Belfast first. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very dramatic painting. Yes. That. It was the Battle of North Cape where they sank the Scharnhorst, or they were part of sinking the Scharnhorst, rather. How much research did you have to do? Quite a lot. The Imperial War Museum had a model of the ship, and um, I spent a long time with the model, and also discussed the changes of armaments it had. Also, I spoke to Admiral Parham, who had been captain at that time. In fact, that led to rather a semi-nasty sort of situation in that I painted the picture with a rather yellow, it was a night engagement, a yellow tinge of the flares, based on information from the Maritime uh, Museum and the Royal Naval College at Greenwich. I mentioned this to him. He said, oh, we had pink flares. <laughs> <laughs> so they changed the whole tone of the whole thing. Now, at the moment, you're working on um, HMS Illustrious. Yes. Um, can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, that, this is a painting, in fact, which... Uh, I've very nearly finished now. I've got one or two final little bits of corrections to make, um, largely from criticisms from naval officers who've seen it now. They obviously, they will come along with that edge, you know. And one has been here and made one or two observations, which I'll order. What sort of things has he said? Has well, he queried? Um, on this helicopter, believe it or not, there's a tiny little area about six inches long on white, which is about, oh, they'll pick that one up straight away. And also, there's a, another minor aerial behind this aftermast, which I've missed out. Precision is more important to the Navy on this occasion than, if you like, artistic uh, merit of the painting. I like to go for accuracy on such a, a painting as this. I like the research involved. I like to make sure that I'm accurate with it. With um, more artistic paintings, I like to be very free, for instance, mm. with, a, with a painting. Some of the paintings that I've seen, as you've seen downstairs, they're totally free. I, I've worked uh, with um, accuracy has been least in mind, uh, with, you know, artistic uh, Merits have been a bit more important, actually. Which one, ones in particular have you in mind? Well, um, particularly, I went last year to um, Monet's home at Giverny in France, and I uh, took a lot of photographs there of his lily ponds and gardens and so on, which are absolutely beautiful. And I've, I've done a few um, water lily paintings, which are totally free. You, know, you can. Um, I've not actually emulated Monet on it, although I admire his work immensely, but uh, I've put my own sort of approach to it, but the actual subject is marvellous, you know, yeah. you can see what he saw in them. And, uh, Do you actually prefer painting in an impressionistic way? I think, uh, given the choice, I, I'd go for the free painting, and uh, I can be more creative, much more spontaneous. And um, with such sub subjects as um, harbourscapes, uh, I love more boats, and the gaggles of fishing boats you get in harbours, and they colour, and um, complete... Um, interest to me. It's, it's, it's just there in the harbours. And I prefer a harbour to a seascape any time, an outside seascape. The harbours have um, groups of boats which are nicely placed and I can also move them around to my will. Uh, I don't mean the boats, I mean in my, in my painting. <laughs> um, I think where my real interest is just doing that. Uh, I love yeah. water, I love the, the colours and reflections in water and the mucky water, dirty water and everything else in the harbours is all makes lovely colours.